name is Talia. Um, I get asked actually quite often how you pronounce my name and it is not Talia, it is Talia. Um, I just wanted to welcome you all to my YouTube channel and my very first video on this channel, Talia's Nail Tales. And thank you to one of my lovely followers on Facebook for coming up with that name because I am not creative when it comes to coming up with names. So thank you very much, Sandy, for coming up with that name. Much appreciated. I think it's super cute and it's kind of reflects what I wanted to do on this channel for all of you. So I've gotten lots of requests from people on my Facebook, um, Instagram, a lot of things asking me how or what I use to edit my videos. So that's what uh, this video is going to be about. I actually get asked a lot um, what I use for lighting and you'll see in the video here that I don't actually use anything different for my lighting of my pictures but I do notice that when I a lot of the girls that I follow on Facebook or Instagram their, their lighting is off so I'm not sure if this video will help you guys at all but hopefully it does I'm going to show you how I take a picture and I'm actually gonna show you some of my pet peeves about picture taking now, I'm going to just preface this by saying that I do not want to offend anybody by my pet peeves. This is just my personal opinion and when I'm looking at nail photos, what I like to see or what I don't like to see. I will explain why I don't like each of the each of the poses that I'm going to show you and it's not at all mean it's not to offend a specific person. It's just to tell you that it doesn't show off your nails to the best ability as some other poses. So I'm going to show you what I my pet peeves. I'm going to show you, um, I'm actually a, one of my lovely clients, she let me use her, her hands in this video, so I'm going to show you how I pose people, because not all my clients just come in knowing what to do, so I, I move them how I want them just to showcase the nails um, as best as possible. So I'm going to show you that. Uh, what else am I going to show you? Oh, and then I'm going to show you how I edit my pictures. So I use uh, a PicMonkey online, which I will explain to you, and I'm going to specifically walk you through how I edit my picture. Um, one thing to say about that is that everybody has a different style. Everybody needs to figure out their different style and how they edit, what, what they want to showcase in their pictures. Um, it's not... Yeah, everybody's going to develop their own style. So just because I'm showing you how to edit this way does not mean that that's how you have to do it. Um, hopefully you can take some tips and tricks from it. Use PicMonkey, use the other program I'm going to talk about, and um, decide for yourself what looks good and what, what you want to showcase uh, your designs with. Oh, um, I should probably say my nails look like absolute crap right now. Yes, I'm a nail tech, and most nail techs understand that our nails don't always look good. We're always like busy taking care of everybody else's nails. Sometimes we don't have time to do our own. So I, uh, if you guys follow me on Facebook, I'll insert a picture here of what my nails looked like at Christmas time. Um, they were insanely long, they were insanely beautiful. I absolutely loved them. However, they drove me insane at Christmas time. So I actually ended up uh, taking my nails off on um, New Year's. They just were driving me nuts and I had had enough. And so I decided, you know what, it's time for some gel polish. So that's actually what I have on my nails right now. So typically it takes me about uh, three to four hours to do my own nails. And I just right now do not have the time to do that. So I will be leaving gel polish on, especially because I will be moving all of this and my nail studio at the end of the month. So there's just, for me right now, there is no point in me having long, crazy, beautiful nails when they're just gonna get destroyed when I move. Anyway, okay, enough rambling. Let's move on this video. Let me show you how I take uh, some my photos and edit them. Thanks. So I just wanna kinda start out by showing you, I guess the lighting that I use. I don't really use anything special for my pictures and to take nice pictures. Um, I'll, I guess I'll just kind of walk you through just sort of a mini tour of my studio and you can kind of get an idea of what I mean. Um, you can see here that I do have quite a large window. Uh, the blinds are closed right now because it's just nighttime out there so you can't really even see anything. But I, So I do get quite a bit of natural light in my nail studio, that probably helps, but at the same time some of my pictures are taken at night when I have evening clients. So um, yeah, I'm not sure if that contributes to it or what. But one thing that I think makes kind of a difference is you can see up there that um, light, I forget what those type of lights are called, but um, is directly over top of my desk. So I think that that kind of makes a big difference because those, those lights are so bright. This lamp right here, right across here, it's one of those slim light lamps and I'll post a link of um, in the description box as to where I got mine from. 
but it adds like a lot of light for where I take my pictures, which is like right here. Like my clients sit there. Um, I obviously sit here and then um, I just, I take all of my pictures right here. So you can see that it adds um, quite a bit of brightness to all of my pictures. Um, the good thing about this is I can move it down or up or towards me or back, depending on where the lighting is and to get like the best shot. So again, not sure if that helps, but I do use this light. I always have it on in my pictures. And I just wanted to mention one thing. Um, I would do like a nail studio tour of this room. Um, I know that that would probably be something that a few of you might want to see, but I'm actually moving in less than a month. So I just don't know if there's any point in me showing you what this space looks like. Um, I guess if you want to see it, just comment below and let me know. It'd be kind of cool, I guess, to keep as a record, but I, like I said, I'm moving in less than a month, so I plan to do like a, a storage video and a collection video and um, a tour video once I move into my new space. So yeah, just let me know if you want to see this space, even though I'm moving in a month. I guess it could give some people some ideas of what they'd want to do with their own personal space, but just comment um, below and uh, let me know. Thanks. So I'm just going to show you some poses that I absolutely hate to see on nail pictures. I hate this one because it's just so spaced out. Um, you, you takes a lot of work to kind of look at the nails individually. It's very hard to look at. Um, now this next post here, I absolutely hate. I hate this picture because it's so hard to figure out what nail goes with what finger. Hate it so much, stop doing it. It's like the worst pose. I hate this pose. Um, another one of my least favorite poses to see is the claw. I hate the claw, it's so frustrating. Um, but a way to make the claw better Put some gems in it, place your client's hand on top of it, looks a million times better. And then you get to see all the different varieties of the nails that you got going on there. All right, so this one here, I'm just showing you how I place my client's hands. This is just one pose that I do, but it's probably my, I like this one the best because it showcases all the different nails. Perfect. And this is another pose that I like, and I've just put a, a large gem in her hand there. And I get these gems at just like Michael's or the dollar store. And you place your other hand on top. And if you guys ever want to see a video on what I use for background props or anything, just comment below and let me know. I'm just going to adjust the camera here so you can get an idea of what the full picture would be there. So here we are. I'm just going to show you how I take a picture. Got my client's hands all placed there. And I'm just going to grab my iPad here. Yes, I just use my iPad to take pictures. That's it. Now you typically snap about five pictures um, with different lighting, test different ways of how it looks. And that's it. Okay, so I'm just sitting down at my computer now and I'm just going to edit the picture that we took. So you could see in the picture that I took it with my iPad. Now the good thing about having an iPad and then having my MacBook is that everything just works seamlessly together. Like I, I love it. I, I don't know. I'm such an Apple junkie. I probably wouldn't go with anything else. But um, I don't even have to hook any cords up or anything. All of my photos that I take transfer straight to my iCloud here. So here is her nails. And so all I do is I kind of just scroll through like the pictures that I've taken. And you can see here that um, like I've taken like a pretty wide shot of the picture. Um, However, when I edit them and when they're posted onto my page, they don't look like this. Like I, I do editing because I don't, this again, just my personal preference, I don't like to see all of this stuff in the background. I don't like to see her thumb here. I don't like to see all this excess white. I don't like to see any of that. When I look at nail pictures, I want to see what the nails look like. So then I'm going to go down to my Safari and I'm going to open PicMonkey. This is what I use to edit all of my photos. I used to use... Um, on my iPad, I used to use one called PixArt, and it works really well, but I couldn't get my logo to work in that one. So I stopped using PixArt, and now I use PicMonkey. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to bring our picture here. So we're going to my desktop. There's only one image there. We're going to bring it in. So again, I don't like to see pictures with all this junk around it. So the very first thing I do is I crop. I crop down my picture quite a bit okay so a couple things to take note when I crop I like to make sure hang on I like to make sure that the difference here 
from here to the nail is approximately the same as the difference here to the nail. Um, same thing over here, I like to make sure it's approximately the same distance here as it is to the closest nail here. So that to me looks okay, so I'm gonna crop it. Look at how much better that picture looks already. All you see is the nails. You don't see all that other garbage that was going on in the picture. Okay, end of round. So the next thing I do, I kind of feel like these nails look black, but it's not supposed to be a black. It's more supposed to be of like kind of a dark maroon color. So I'm going to actually um, make that color look more true to color. So to do that, I'm gonna change the exposure. So I'm just gonna make it just a smidge brighter and you can actually see like the, the true to color coming out there. Hit apply. Next, we're gonna sharpen it. Sharpening it, all it does is kind of pop everything. So it's gonna make this color stand out a bit more. If you had some black detail, it's gonna make that black pop a bit more. It's not over editing your pictures if you're making them look more true to life like they look when you actually took the picture. So we're just gonna bring the sharpness up just a little bit, bring the clarity up just a little bit more, and you can already see that the like the lines of the striping tape and the crystals are just jumping at you a little bit more. So that's seriously all I do, not very much. So the next thing I'm gonna do here is we're gonna go to this little butterfly and it's called overlays. I'm gonna go pop my own overlay in here. And what it is is it's my sculpted gel nails by Talia logo. I'm just gonna click open. It's gonna bring in my logo. I'm gonna make it bigger and I'm gonna place it where I want it. So another thing that I like to do, because when you're watermarking any of your pictures, not only are you putting it on there to get your name out there, or just so people know who did it, but you're also kind of preventing people who like to steal pictures. So another thing I like to do is add just like a little word one here. We're gonna center it, we're gonna make it smaller, and we're gonna spin it on its side. And again, like if people are gonna steal your pictures and if they're gonna crop everything out then they're just gonna do that but this is just another way to kind of watermark your picture a little bit this to me looks like a nicely edited photo I'm happy with this again this is just my style this is how I like to do it everybody's gonna develop their own style and their own taste and that's what kind of is nice about the nail industry is you'll see a picture not necessarily from somebody's Facebook page specifically you'll see it on Pinterest or something and right away you'll know who did, did that picture so develop your own style, develop your own taste when it comes to editing your pictures. This is just what I like to do. Okay, another thing that you can do that I do actually quite, quite often is you're gonna go over to this little wand thing over here. It's called effects. We're gonna go down to this one called frost. And you can see it's just gonna add like a nice kind of frost to the outside of the picture. Now I don't like it to be, to look like that. So I wanna make the size smaller so it doesn't cover up my nails and make the intensity bigger. And then that way it's like more of like a border around it. So I think that looks pretty good. We'll hit apply and then you save your picture. This is all I do. Seriously, super easy. Um, you'll find your own style. You'll find what you like. This is just how I like to do it. So I hoped you guys enjoyed watching my video here. I hoped you uh, got some nice tips and tricks on how to take nail pictures, how not to take nail pictures, how to edit them. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be first to know when I post new videos, so that's always a good idea. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll post those links below. Bye.